Okay, we are going to solve this differential equation along with this initial condition. This is not that bad because we can just separate the variables. Let me show you. First of all, let's multiply dx on both sides. So we will have the dx right here. And you want to keep the x right here. And I would like to bring the square root of y minus 1 to the other side. And we can do so by dividing both sides by this. So we get the dy still on the left hand side. This will be in the denominator. So 1 over square root of y minus 1. And you see from here, we have the y and the dy together and the x and the dx together. We are good to go. We can integrate both sides. This, it's pretty much the same as y minus 1 raised to the negative 1 half power. And you can do some use up on your own. Anyway, up to you, right? And Right here, you pretty much will get 2 square root of y minus 1. After some u sub and also some power rules, but backwards. And if you differentiate this, you will actually get that back. Okay. And I'm not going to put on the plus c right here because I can just add a constant on the right hand side. That's all I need. So I will just write this down. The integral of x is 1 half x squared. And finally, right here, this is the constants that we have been waiting for. Huh. Anyway, um, perhaps I will just get rid of the 2 first, so I will multiply everything by 1 half. I'll multiply everything by 1 half, so that this and that cancel, and I have square root of y minus 1 equals to, this times that is 1 over 4 x squared, and 1 half times c1. 1 half is a constant, c1 is also a constant, a constant times a constant is another constant, so I can just put on plus c2. If you keep it as 1 half c1, you will still end up with the same result at the end, but I already have c2. Okay, here we do have this initial condition, and I think it's a good time for me to plug in the x and the y value right here, so I can solve for the constant. This right here means x is equal to 2, and I know you guys cannot see, so I will actually write this down. This means x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 10. And I will just plug in. Plug in 10 into here. I get square root of 10 minus 1. And that's equal to 1 over 4. And the x is 2. And don't forget to square that. And plus c2. On the left hand side, this is just 9. Instead of the square root, so altogether you get 3. On the right hand side, this is 4 divided by 4, which is 1. So in another word, when you add the plus c2 here, subtract 1 on both sides, c2 is equal to 2. So from here, we can see square root of y minus 1 is equal to 1 over 4 x squared, and the c2 is 2. So I just put down plus 2 right here for the c2. And in the end, I want to get the y by itself. So let me just square both sides here. So that cancel as always. And we get the y minus 1. It's equal to this. So also let me add 1 on both sides. So I get y as a function of x. This is equal to positive 1 plus this. So we have 1 over 4 x squared plus 2. Altogether, we have this square. And this right here is it. So yeah, we are done. I just want to try this again. There we go. There we go.